Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmatov. In this project, we're looking at visual canvas testing. We have our good images saved inside the folder. For example, we have the smile face, as it was drawn at 150 milliseconds, 300, 450, and 600. This face was drawn this way by this code that has a set timeout set at 150 millisecond interval where it changes the smile and draws a different curve every 150 milliseconds. Our original test waited for the last smile. But I want to write a test that actually looks at each smile separately. For example, I want to have a test that renders this smile at 150 millisecond timeout and then compares it to this saved image. I cannot just let the smile go because then it would quickly flip to the 600. So what I have to do is control the clock from my spec file, freeze it, and then manually advance it by 150 milliseconds. Let's do this. I'll name the test at 150 milliseconds. So we want to control the clock, which means the first thing we want to do is freeze it. Side clock command freezes the clock, and the animations are paused. Then we want to visit the smile page. So let's run this. I have Fabric open right now. There is nothing because we froze in the clock. The application that renders the smile sets the timeout. So we have to actually trigger the timeout because we need to advance the clock using SciTeq by 150 milliseconds. So let's look at it. Excellent. And now after it ticks 150 milliseconds, it's frozen again. And now we can use our comparison to confirm the canvas again. So our comparison that I've done in other parts looks like this. I'm using Cypress Recurse to download the image, get the file name, and compare that file name to the saved image. And in this case, it's 150, I believe, milliseconds. So let's run this. Excellent. On the first try, it was successful because the application immediately rendered the image as it looks at 150 milliseconds. And that's what Im our image expects. Now, if I want to continue and render it, like I say, at 300, what would I do? I would advance the clock by another 150 milliseconds. Okay. And then I would call recourse image comparison again. Well, in this case, notice that it didn't work. Okay, so we have to do this. So if we want to advance it by another 150 milliseconds, we would have to advance it again. So 300, we're comparing it to the wrong image, so this will actually fail. So we want to compare it to 150. Okay, so this is how we validate the smile step by step by freezing the clock first using side clock and then advancing it by 150 milliseconds and then comparing the image correctly and then comparing it step by step again. 